I was the youngest of 20. And uh, my mother was married at 18 and a half, I think, or 19, and, and my father was 22. Hmm? Wow. And he was an only son. And, and uh, my, my grandmother lived with him all his life, his mother. And uh, she was a lovely person and very good. And the two of them, uh, I the most have lived. She, my grandmother died at 90, 92 or 3. Uh, and she, uh, and there was never a word between them. Never, she treated my mother. She, she was a daughter, mm -hmm. and she loved children. And uh, now that that's near before my time. And then, as far as I go back, I remember when the war started. Huh? Wow. And uh, the Second World War. I remember the day. I remember we were making hay. And uh, at that time there was no television to tell you anything or no nothing, and so one came and told us the war had. Now they were talking, uh, threatened with it all the time. Yeah, and uh, then uh, I know my father went out and he bought paraffin oil, get ends of it to have it if uh, you know that if he wanted it, and the Russian came in then. And I, I, I don't know, I think it was a half pound of sugar or something to each person and some much tea. Wow. And uh, what, uh, the, the, what are the was of uh, And um, the, the tea, and then the clothes was all rationed, and, and the flour was rationed. But we lived in a farm, and we, we got brought to a mill, and we milled the Thing and weren't too badly off, apart from, and uh, it, it, everyone, it was so, I think it was so many loaves I got for the week wow. as well. Now, and there was lots of other things, we had our own butter and uh, our own milk and our own potatoes, name it, and that, that was it. And um, the clothes then was rationed. And you got coupons, and if you went into a shop without the coupons, you needn't come in at all because it'd be turning the. I saw people standing at the counter trying to get, beg them to give them something. Mm -hmm. And uh, the clothes was all rationed. And uh, uh, we. Uh, there's the people, they send from America, they should send over clothes for years. After, uh, you know, and, and uh, it's half the time we couldn't wear them because they were too, <laughs> they were too uh, light. Of, uh, and, uh, and how old were you when the war started? Hmm? How old were you when the war started? I suppose I was eight, seven eight. or eight. So yeah. you were at, at school? And uh, oh, I were. Oh, I went to at school, but you had no... Well, you know, you had, I remember the first time I saw a banana, and I, I remember the first time I saw an orange. That's amazing. Huh? Gosh. <laughs> and you're talking to history now. <laughs> huh? And and what was the age gap between you and, and the others? My, I have one sister alive and she's three years uh, older than me. Okay. Because uh, one baby died between Aww. us, I think. Uh, and then she lost meningitis. Yeah. And uh, my eldest sister was mad. That time women got married young. Yeah. To a farmer, and uh, I was an aunt before I was born. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you that. Huh? That's brilliant. Oh. So, how old would the oldest one have been then, compared to you? Uh, oh, I, 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 what age used to be? She must be. Oh, she must have come on to thirty or around that age. Wow! Yeah. That's yeah. a massive yeah. gap. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she was. It was a big gap. Yeah. You know, and I was kind of the spoiled person in the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the baby. The baby. Yeah. 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 And I'm telling you, they kept me wondering that I'd do nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and did you help on the farm? Oh, everything. Ask me, I did. I picked potatoes and uh, I, I sold vegetables and sold cabbage and we're always out. We're all kept working. Yeah. No matter what was done, milk cows. And fed calves. <laughs> That's amazing. And, uh -huh. and then what did, that, when, did when no one could go to England that time then? You could see, they not? Cause no, the because war. I, it was a war. And I know my mother, 
Yes, one so, so he was in England and he got married very you know, after going out, and so he was he was had to go to war. He was in Holland for a long time in the war, and we didn't you know. And he, he came home when the war was over, yeah. but he didn't want to talk about it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, his wife had all his clothes sold because she thought he'd never come home. Oh my uh, god! I don't know what she did. Yeah. She got, huh? <laughs> that's what he told us. Wow. But that time he was home the next time, and he had twins, you see, and that's the uh, and um, I tell you all about the war, then uh, years after, you know, he said, uh, you make great friends, and the next thing they're shot. One man, the two of them, one, uh, 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 and he said he, he was in, the, you know, in Holland, where the, all the muck on, and the stems was down. And he, he said that uh, this man was walking beside him, and uh, I don't know, it, it, something blew up, blew up the place, and he had to keep going. Mm -hmm. He was looking. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. My grandmother should be praying for him. Mm -hmm. And and did the war affect you much? Here? Oh, so we were worried in case uh, the Germans are coming. My okay. oh, so that was a big. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I remember a little one. <laughs> and, there was a crack in the cup, and I said, I don't want that to get Germans, is it? <laughs> you know, that, that. Oh, and then they would turn their clothes inside out, if you had a coat, and they, if they faded across the bank, you had, a, 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 you, you looked it all out, and you put the out, out, inside out, you know? Gosh. To make uh, that 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 to happen, uh, sure. oh, and and clothes, and then just to put lines of uh, pretending that stockings, just to put lines up the the backs, the legs. Huh? Huh? I remember my mother talking about that yeah. and the, the gravy on the legs <laughs> to make them look tan. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's right. Now, so your mother be around my yeah. Uh, would she be at my age? Uh, uh, we, she would have been a wee bit younger. Yeah, 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 yeah. than than me. I'm yeah. ninety two. Well, you're amazing, uh -huh. and you still love gardening. Oh, I do. I'll be out there today you now. Only for oh, rain. I have a man in helping me now at the yeah. moment cutting the hedges. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, that. Uh, 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 what else was I going to say? Oh, I could. Uh, the, uh, that. Uh, oh, I. Uh, the tea was scarce, and children. Some children was allowed to drink the tea because they wanted to keep it for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, was great carrots, and uh, put it, put them, dry them in the pan, and put it through the tea. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. To make it go further, yeah. yeah. Gee, I never heard that before. No, well, <laughs> yeah. They were up to every trick, yeah. Huh? <laughs> and were there long queues for the shops to get the, the rations? My father went to town one day and he paid two shillings for an ounce of tea and he gave thruppence for another one. One, one gave them, a, so there should be... Um, Black market tea. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that's I, and was that in Sligo? No, I lived in 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 the Midlands, up in Atlone. Okay, Atlone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, and from that, and yeah, yeah. my husband was a he he, he uh, was travelled round on his job. I'm not going to see about no, uh, no, your grandchild. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I see, okay. Yeah. So, Jesus. Oh, I, I often wanted to tell them what we went through. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, you couldn't buy you couldn't buy sheets or nothing, really? and there, there, there used to be uh, we used to buy uh, um, I bought that a hundred weight of uh, of uh, flour every every week or every fortnight, and uh, my mother there were lovely white it was lovely material in the and and it was ranks written on and and you try to get and my mother used to you get four of them and they'd make a sheet for you. Wow. And uh, that, and uh, and you'd, you'd, she'd put out them to bleach, and she, it was impossible too to get um, uh, soap powder. Yeah, you know, only yeah. our nice soap you yeah. got. Yeah, and uh, that uh, that uh, you could try to wash things. They had the white, yeah. and um, uh, it, it was no, no jam. Gee. Mm -hmm. And uh, the jam, and we should go to the shop for the jam, and first of all. But thing the woman had asked you, pot! Do you, know, you know that? You had to bring the pot with you or you wouldn't oh, get the jam. Oh, really? Yeah, pot! Ah. 
<laughs> I can still see you. <laughs> it's like another life. Huh? Oh, it was. Which is a great life because it trained you to be careful with everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Careful, you know, that, that. There were, and there was no such thing as going out buying chickens or anything like that. I don't know how the people in town managed. I suppose that they, they got, so there was plenty of beef and things mm -hmm. like that, but you wouldn't get a chicken. Mm -hmm. Really? No, you wouldn't unless you had your own. We had all our own chickens yeah. and our own turkeys and geese and yeah. ducks and everything, you know, and that, that meant an awful difference, yeah. you know, I did, did, did uh, and uh, uh, what else was it? I, I told them that, uh, that uh, I'm kind of think of anything else <laughs> that I, uh, I forgot, you know, and it began. Yeah. But, and then, the, oh, it was, uh, no, we had no, well, no of the luxuries they have today. Yeah. Huh? No, not, none of them. Hmm? There was no use throwing away clothes. I wonder when they come back. Hmm? I don't know. Hmm? It's hard to know, isn't it? Yeah, war, the, the, the war was here enough. It was in Northern Ireland, you know. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And there was, they used to have big balloons tied in Northern Ireland to stop the uh, uh, the planes coming in Gee. and so two of them broke away yeah. and oh they were huge things now we were a long way from not Belfast and they passed right outside our house Gee. were two big chains huh I still can see them and what year would that have been I'm sure I can't think of the year of that. Oh, that's uh, okay. That was in the middle of the war, and, my, yeah. and uh, we looked out the window and we saw it pass them. Mm? Gee. Um, yeah. and, and everyone thought they were near to, to uh, you know, sometimes it's between my house and your house. And yeah. they didn't, you know, they thought, uh, I remember the, the, that, yeah, that. Uh, Gosh. Nah. And, 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 and there was people, there, there was all fellows go around in buying turkeys and uh, and uh, chickens. But the worst of all, the whole lot was in Dublin. They were perished because um, uh, there was no coal coming in, okay. and the people, the big the country, the country people yeah. to cut turf, and we cut a lot of turf. Yeah. And I remember being brought up to the Phoenix Park yeah. uh, in Dublin, and there was. Clamps of it was rationed with clamps as far well, there must be a mile as far as ever there was nothing but clamps at top because it brought all up on the country people so, there was not much employment that time no and on yeah. and the, and they used to they would bring it up by up to the Phoenix Park uh, so, for the, and and uh, my mother now was telling me that uh, people didn't know how to manage the turf. Yeah. No, because I didn't know it. And they used to throw water on it, thinking it was cold. You know that. Yeah. All the people in Dublin wouldn't uh, listen to that now. Huh? <laughs> but, and anyone didn't have to had anyone in the country that had a bog or land, you, you sent up a, a, a lot of, lot of turf to them. Gosh. Yeah. Fascinating. And a bit of leisure to get it. And that was after the war. That was going on for years after the war, too. Yeah, yeah it was. Nearly up to the time I got married, you know, because mm. things was... And my mother used to send a turkey at Christmas. Oh, I went to the post office. There was nothing but... Uh, there's a turkey. You'd send a turkey and by the post? Mind. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Uh, yeah. No, that that has to be uh, that. Uh, was it alive or dead? Huh? Was it the turkey alive or dead? Oh, dead. Oh, um, okay. we plucked it and all, and we passed it up beautiful and brought it down to the post office and was in. And did uh, it not go rotten? No, I don't. Wasn't they just took it and they were, they were delighted to get it up? Huh? Wow. Well, got, I think it took only a couple of days to go over that time. There was, there was a kind of a special part. So okay. the place was filled with par parcels going over. And mm. where were you sending it? I sent it to my brother that was in, uh, and the wife that was in. Uh, she was. She was, She went down to Co County Durham when. when, when in the, England. The, yeah. Wow. Send mm. <laughs> <laughs> the turkey to England. Oh, uh, people! Uh, it's nice for the the people to know. Absolutely. Oh, they did. Yes. Yeah.